April here and tonight I've got a little bit of a colourful video, a bit of a break from Inktober as I bust out the Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils and do a little bit of a sketchbook spread. So I'm also using the Mossery Mixed Media Sketchbook today. I haven't really done much in the sketchbook, I've done this, this page and then I did a little bit of dabble in for Inktober but I realised the page was a bit too flimsy. And the topic of my sketchbook spread today, which you've probably seen already, is mushrooms. I don't even like eating mushrooms, but I do love finding them in the forest. All the different varieties and colours and shapes, they're just so cute. So I thought I would um, draw some mushrooms. Now I have drawn mushrooms in the past, they never really ended up that well. So I don't I didn't really know how this was going to turn out, but I decided to dig into my pencils, my coloured pencils, and try to use coloured pencils as they were intended to for colouring because normally I just use my coloured pencils for sketching and I follow a lot of people online that do amazing things with coloured pencils and I'm always a little bit envious so I thought I would uh, try it. So these first few mushrooms here I kind of tried to colour in as I thought you were meant to use the coloured pencils and I wasn't really looking at the reference I was kind of more of trying to focus on how to make the pencils work and I was really really unhappy with how these first few uh, mushrooms turned out so I'm happy in fact that I actually was just going to leave this page I was going to leave the idea of drawing mushrooms and I was going to give up for the day uh, this was Sunday evening when I was uh, drawing in my sketchbook but I thought, I've been out on this walk, I've got all this like footage and photos and I really really wanted to draw them. So I thought, I'm just gonna use this as my practice page and I'm just gonna continue to practice until I'm comfortable and then I'll do my real sketchbook page. And then here I was like, maybe if I add black lines that will help. It didn't. It didn't help. So I thought, I'll move on. And I will just draw this mushroom as I would draw it. I'm not gonna think this is how you're meant to use a coloured pencil. I should be blending, I should be, you know, mixing the colours on the page like an artiste. I'm just gonna sketch it how I would normally sketch it. So I did that and I actually am copying the same mushrooms from above and I just sketched it like I would using line art and everything because hey, I'm a rebel. I love my line art, you guys know that. And then after I did this mushroom, I was like kind of feeling a little bit in the groove. I was feeling more warmed up, more confident with myself. So I did another one as a little sketch and I thought, okay, I'll just use this as my practice mushroom and then I'll move on to the next sketchbook page. But then I thought about it and I was thinking, well, I could kind of pretend this never happened, move on to a new page, not show anyone these mushrooms and just start over. Or I could share it with people to show that, um, you know, I didn't really like what I started with. It took me a bit of time to warm up. I had to experiment a bit. I had to try different things to kind of find my groove and that it's okay. So I thought I would keep this page as it is and I would just continue to draw mushrooms on it as I had planned. So these next mushrooms were um, a little patch that I found. You see the photo at the bottom there and I really, really love this one. So I thought I would do it and I kind of just took this mushroom um, cluster and I kind of made it a little bit abstracty and right now it looks a little bit like a box of donuts which is a lot more appealing to me than a, than a box of mushrooms but I really like how this one turned out when I add all the little shading at the end. So I actually went for a walk on Saturday and I took some photos of the mushrooms it was like raining and it was soggy and I wore my welly boots for the first time and I loved it, I loved the rain. What was I saying? Oh, I love the rain. Uh, cow interlude there. Um, so where I go for a walk is like a nature reserve near my house, it's about a mile away from my house. And I go there in the summer, in the winter, in every, every time of the year. I absolutely love it there. It doesn't matter, I can go there every week, every day, and I wouldn't get bored of it. And sometimes they graze the cows over there. And the cows are quite big, and I have heard stories about them chasing people before, but um, I'm always like, I come in peace, I'm just here to say hi, and I've never had any problems with them, so. Um, so I, yeah, I went on Saturday and I took some photos, and then I was going to sketch this in my sketchbook, and I was thinking it would be so nice if I had gotten some footage of the mushrooms or some like B-roll of the forest. So I dragged Martin back to the forest again on Sunday, and we traipsed around again in the rain, <laughs> just so I could get some footage, which was really fun. I love going for walks, so I'm never going to turn down a good walk. 
So back to the sketch. These are little mushrooms here that I'm drawing. I was definitely like super fully warmed up at this point. I was really getting into it. I was well, watching lots of YouTube at the time and I was just having a lot of fun. So this sketch here that you're seeing me do actually turned out to be my absolute favorite. And the only problems that I had were finding the right colors for the log. And you would think in a box of 96 colored pencils, I'd be able to find the right color. But I spent ages trying to find the right color for the log and I couldn't. So in the end, I just kind of put a whole bunch of colors in there and I think it looks really fun. It's like really energetic. It's a little bit all over the place, but I think that's what I like about it. And my favorite part of doing these little sketches were adding in all the little bits of um, grass. Like I love doing that kind of stuff. So yeah, this was my definitely my favorite sketch. And I thought from this one here, I was ready to do the one I've been wanting to do since I saw them. These mushrooms were amazing. Um, we found them in a log and they were like the perfect cluster of mushrooms, like so picturesque. You can just imagine a family of fairies like living within them. So I was kind of keeping these till last. So I was ready for them. And uh, I just kind of went for it. And I was just having fun at this point. I wasn't even really looking at the reference, just kind of for um, a little bit to help me with the lighting, kind of where the darks go and the lights and different colors. These ones are a little bit more on the pink side than the orange side, so that was cool. But I just thought I had to have a little break from October. I'm definitely still enjoying it. I'm still going. And I will have a video out um, on Thursday with all of my Inktober pieces up till now. So make sure you check back for that one if you wanna find out what's happening with Belle and her story. But I just thought I would break it up a little bit. Um, my subscription box is full of Inktober stuff and I love watching it, but sometimes you just need a little bit of color and a whole month of black and white is uh, it's not good enough for me because I love my color. And like I mentioned, I'm using the Mossery sketchbook and this is the mixed media sketchbook. So the pages are a little bit thinner than the watercolor one and it's got a super amount of texture. The texture takes a little bit to get used to because my last sketchbook was a little bit smoother, but for this pencil texture, it works really well. So when we did our little walk, the one mushroom that I was looking for was this one here. Um, this kind of mushroom. It's actually a toadstool, I think, and I only found broken ones or like little ones. And then I found this one it was just popped out it was in the middle of nowhere and it was absolutely perfect now i'm not quite sure what these mushrooms are called sorry toadstools are called but i always think of them as like i just call them fairy mushrooms because every time i see them i can just imagine a little fairy sitting on them and you know like when you see old school illustrations like fun know fairy tales i guess the, the fairies are always on these mushrooms so that's what i like to think of them and I just had to kind of finish the page off with this one. It is the only mushroom on the page that is this color. Every other mushroom is kind of like orange, but I think it deserves to pop out because it's pretty spectacular toadstool. And then I finished this little toadstool. I realized I didn't have mushroom left on the page. So I called it a day and uh, this is the final page. So it kind of goes from my first little tentative mushrooms at the top there, doing a little bit of practice, warming up and then getting pretty confident um, with <laughs> drawing them and really enjoying myself. So I'm so happy that I persisted and I kept going with this page. And if you guys ever struggle getting started, just keep going and maybe something amazing will come out of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little walk with me through the woods and I will check you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.